Dearly beloved, we are assembled here in the presence of God to join Mark Trotter and Lily Gato. Here's to start an Mark, I don't know how you pulled this off. <laughs> but I'm really glad you did. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. And that's my prayer for you today. You have that light. Let it shine. Lily is the baby of the family, and I don't care how many graduate degrees she gets, she's always going to be my sweet little lily bug. Oh my gosh, Lily's. <laughs> when Patty and I met Mark, we had the same reaction that Lily did. We just thought he was great. I mean, look, at what's not to like? Right, he's a nice Christian young man. He's tall, dark, and handsome. We're excited about the prospect of more grandkids. So that's pretty exciting. We have uh, Reagan and Reese. No, that's fine. You got time. I'm not gonna pressure you. to love and to cherish for as long as we shall live. This is my solemn vow. Since she's met Mark, I've never seen her happy. I mean, she is just on cloud nine. And she is so happy, and that makes us extremely happy. You know you're in love when you can't go to sleep because your reality is finally better than your dreams. Now by virtue of the authority committed to me by the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you, Mark and Lily, husband and wife. Mark, you may kiss your bride. Every detail of today has been so intentional and so beautiful, and I know this is a night that we will remember for a really long time. Lily has been such an incredible friend to me. Her faith, discipline, compassion, and intelligence are just of the few of the reasons why I'm grateful to call her a dear friend. Mark, you have a heart that is following so close and hard after Christ, and you found a woman who is just the same. May you grow ever closer together as you grow closer to Christ and follow after him. me great pleasure to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Mark Randolph Trotter. Yeah. 